All right. Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. As always, extremely special episode here today. I'm with two of my heroes today, Dr. Kevin Reese and Coach Levi Limer from the Peace Over Pain Clinic. Mm. And they're both my heroes for different reasons, to be honest. New listeners, maybe you haven't seen our previous episodes with Dr. Reese. Quick recap. He was a radio personality in the music business in a past life, Mm -hmm. which is, to me, admirable to leave that business because it's kind of an easy business. You know, you don't have to take anyone's life into your own hands or anything like that. And it's pretty lucrative and it looked pretty fun. You know, you're hanging out with celebrities and rappers and all all this stuff. Yeah. Tough life to leave. But (laughs) you had your own health issues. And on that journey of fixing your own health issues, you went and, you know, collected certifications in detox and postural therapy and, you know, went and got a full blown PhD to put the doctor beside your name Mm -hmm. just to have the credibility to do this, but not only to do this, to be taken seriously in the mainstream world. And I think that's, uh, that's very admirable. It's something that I have not done. It's, it's a huge step. You know, and, they st- and they still call me a fake doctor. Still, of course. <laughs> Even if you're an MD, they still would. As long as you're talking about <laughs> vitamins, they're still going to attack you. You see them still attacking Paul Saladino, right? Doesn't mm-hmm. matter if you're an MD to them. So, yeah. very, very cool. And Dr. Reese has huge plans to create a school and a whole new type of accreditation to create a whole new type of doctor, basically. The head-to-toe healer. Yes. And Coach Levi, I respect him for a different reason. This business is very tough. Very few people would want to go into such an intimidating field and such a stressful field. You know, talk to any doctor or nurse, you know, dealing with people at their worst, taking responsibility for their health and their recovery is a huge, huge deal. So for Levi to do this, you know, at such a young age, Levi, how old are you? Don't mean to put you on the spot. I think 22 right now, but I got into it, you know, two years ago, maybe. Yeah, two, three years ago. So that's incredible. Most of us at 19, 20 years old, we were not thinking about taking anywhere near this type of responsibility. But you stepped up and you stepped up huge. And not only do you have to, you guys all know this, not only do you have to actually help people, which is a big enough deal. You also have to put up with the backlash that comes from the non-believers online. And I've been pretty lucky that we don't get too much backlash, but it depends on how hard you push it. That's all I get. (laughs) Yeah, well, you've been pushing it hard, and yeah, that's that's what you get. You get pushed back. I'm dancing on the line. It's not easy to deal with. So both of you guys are basically in the trenches here of alternative medicine. And we're here to talk today about some of your most impressive cases because you guys are doing something awesome, which is keeping good records and -hmm. getting video testimonials before and after. This is something that we need a lot more of. So I'm very, very happy to see some of these and have the audience see some of these as well today. Yeah, that's something that I've been doing for my whole career. Being a video guy to start, you know? And it's something that I was surprised at that not too many practitioners do. And even guys I've studied with. So I think at the time of this recording, as far as I know, I have the most healing testimonials on video that anyone's ever seen. I think the last we put them all back to back, Levi, you can confirm this. It's about three hours. Yeah. Yeah. So imagine that three hours of testimonials. That's more than a movie. It's longer than a movie. So, you know, you have to wonder where that's going to be, you know, in five years or even one year, two years. So we're doing something different and i think that's a big reason why we get the pushback that's why we get the death threats that's why we get the you're a fake doctor and you're dangerous and you need to be stopped because it's on video and no one has it on video 
Why? I have no idea. It's but, pretty hard. It's pretty hard to get people on camera, man. Even some of my friends. I'm like, please, please, <laughs> please just record it. A, a one minute, one minute. Especially some of these things are embarrassing. You yeah. know, hemorrhoids and, you know, certain women's problems, vaginal problems and, you know, constipation, diarrhea, just stuff that people well, don't want public. What we do is we bring them in into a community. You know, we bring them in and we facilitate their health in a community where they have coaches and everything and they feel comfortable and they pay us a lot of money. We are not cheap. <laughs> and the whole idea is if, if you're investing in this, it's like you got to give it your all. And in order to give it your all, it makes sense for you to do a day one video and it makes sense for you to do a day 120 video. And that's the base of our program is 120 days. That's why in our testimonial videos, you see a lot of people saying, Oh, I'm on day 87 or I'm on day 60, but we actually count the days. So, you know, this it's worked. I've been doing it since 2016, this 120 day program. And just keep updating it, you know, and had to upgrade it again when I met you, Ryan, and, and started learning from Dr. Wallach and started getting into the postural therapy. So this 120 day program has just, it keeps evolving through the years, you know, but the format and the marketing of it has never really changed. It's just, it's a machine. It's a healing factory. It's a factory. We have a factory. It's awesome. And I've said it before, but I really like the 120 day mark. We've always gone by three months. You'll hear three months again and again in this business. Mm -hmm. You need at least three months to see if something really works. You need at least three months at the gym, you know, to measure your results. Obviously, if you if you go to the gym hard for two weeks and stop, absolutely nothing is going to change about your life. You need to keep going at least three months and to form that, those habits as well. And for me, I've always been going on that three month train as well. But then I added in a month digestion program for almost everyone. So yeah, yeah just immediately add another 30 days to that. Now we're at 120 days, That's sort right. of minimum. And even further than that, if you have a very, very serious health problem like cancer, for example, I've heard it said before by other practitioners that you're in for a two year turnaround. Yeah. yeah. Even if you start to see great results around month three, four, five, you know, your tumor markers are down, you've lost weight, you got lots of energy, you should still be carrying through a pretty extreme program for at least two years until you're smooth sailing. And then, of yeah. course, you continue the best of those habits. You don't need, you know, the extra supplements and all that at that time. But a lot of people are trained to think that things can be reversed quickly. And some of them can, for sure. But again, once again, if, if, you get rid of your pain in two weeks, which can happen, or, or a month or two, and you go back to your life, it's going to come right back. So yeah. forming these habits over the long term definitely is the most important thing. And 120 days to me is a good bare minimum for setting all that stuff in stone. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we, we help people for a whole year too. It's just the 120 is like the intense part, you know, it's the jump start. you know, the, the trampoline that sends you off and you know, the, the goal is for them to be able to take care of themselves after a year. Yeah. And I think that is, that is reasonable. Yeah. So need to take care of themselves, man. In your, you've got several books, by the way, anyone could check out Dr. Reese's books on Amazon or peaceoverpain.com. Correct. Yeah. It's a trilogy now. Well, you've so got even other books before that too. Yeah. I've, 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 paused a lot of them because I've updated my my knowledge but the trilogy right now is the big thing that's selling and you know peace over pain is the breakfast reverse the cause is the lunch <laughs> and dinner with Dr. Reese is the dinner and I and there's acknowledgement of uh, you and Chef Norman Goodies in there too because you guys inspired me to make this cookbook so well, I love that. And so just very brief recap here. The first in the trilogy, The Peace Over Pain, 
It's a book I really love. I was thinking of also writing a book that's like an introduction. Mm -hmm. And when you came out with Peace Over Pain, I said, well, I guess I don't really have to write the book anymore because <laughs> Dr. Reese did a good job at that. Mm -hmm. No reason to double up. So you've got three main components to the Peace Over Pain program, nutrition, yep. postural therapy, yep. and mental health. Yeah. Yeah. We use the term mindfulness, but it's the same thing, essentially. Mindset, whatever term you want to use awareness where do you take things in the uh in the second book the second book is all about going over each condition and looking at it from a head to toe perspective and discovering the root causes of that condition and some of them are umbrella terms for example one chapter is gut dysfunction so that's going to cover your crohn's your colitis that's going to cover your gastritis. That's going to cover all of that. Um, thyroid dysfunction is another chapter, you know. But there's 60 chapters, 60 chronic condition chapters. And it just gives people a head-to-toe healing perspective. And really, Ryan, it, it's really a textbook for the new school. I'm just thinking ahead. It's really a textbook. This is... This is best for practitioners more so than someone who needs help, really. So, but I needed to get it out now. You know, because I'm 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 not just pushing a program here, I'm pushing a concept. And that concept is if you get healthy from head to toe, the body will heal. And to look at the body from a macro level instead of a micro level. So, yeah, you know, your migraines could be coming from seven different things. Well, which one is it? Well, if you get healthy from head to toe, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing in this book is I'm just laying out all the root causes. You know, is the migraine coming from a cervical flexion from the neck being forward or is it coming from a food sensitivity or is it coming from a nutritional deficiency? You know, and I think this is the new, I, I believe that this is the future. I wouldn't be investing money into it. I believe that this is the future and there will be an academy called the Head to Toe Healing Academy and people will be able to be certified as a healer, a head-to-toe healer, not a doctor, not a coach, as a head-to-toe healer. They could still be a doctor or a coach, but this would be a head-to-toe healer. And then me and my team don't have to take the clients anymore. Which would be the best case scenario. And a lot of people might think this is weird, but the goal to me in this business has always been to make us redundant. Yeah. You, sh you shouldn't need someone like us. The whole world should just know this. Right. Right. And I'm also passionate about business. And so I'm kind of combining my two, my two passions here. Because as a head-to-toe healer, we're also going to teach them how to run a, a business. And they can use our marketing. You want to use Dr. Reese videos? Use Dr. Reese videos. You want to use Dr. Wallach videos? Use Dr. Wallach videos. You want to use Ryan videos? Use like here. Here's the material. Go start a business as a head to toe healer. All you need is leads. You need people in your DM saying, "Hey, I need help." And then from there, you do what you do. And everyone can be successful and be doing something good in the world, making money for them and their family, but also helping people. And so that's that's really the goal here. And the lead part is pretty easy, especially right now. The last two, three years, this business has exploded. Millions of people are coming into the alternative health world. Millions and millions of people were forced to think and talk about health for a few years. Oh, yeah. The so-called pandemic changed everything and that's why when i opened this clinic i deemed it virtual virtual clinic well we got to be accessible to everyone right absolutely and people ask all the time can i come because they know we have a, a place 
you know, can can I make an appointment and, and come by? And people will drive two, three hours for us. And I'm like, no, we're, we're virtual. Our headquarters are studio. I'm in a studio right now. Mm -hmm. You know? You know, Levi and Sean are over there in the other room, the other office. I'm, you know, they're you know, 30 feet that way, you know? We got a whole thing. And, but it's not for clients. It's for us to make content. And for us to take phone calls and for us to facilitate a virtual clinic and soon a virtual school. I'm stoked for the school as well. And we're just waiting for you to come visit. You know, my border situation is a little bit complicated, but <laughs> oh, I'm the border. Oh, no, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're going to talk about that a little bit off. We got to uh, smuggle you into a trunk. When the recording <laughs> finishes, we'll, we'll talk a little bit because... Okay. <laughs> I think I'm finally ready to jump in with you guys as well. Okay. So before we get into the case studies, I want to hear a little bit from Levi. Sure. So you have been, you you fully moved, you relocated to Connecticut to be in person at the virtual clinic, Peace Over Pain with Dr. Reese. How has it been? What's different? What? It, how have you updated things, Levi, in your own mind and how you go about things? Because you started kind of just as a as a lone wolf. You had my help and guidance and some other people as well, but you were trying to do this by yourself and it, no one knows better than me how hard it is to do this by yourself. So mm -hmm. how, is, how has it been over there? Tell us about it. It's been such a world of change. I mean, when I was in Minnesota, everything was just, there was a lot of distraction, right? There was a lot of like, I wanted to give my all to Dr. Reese's cause and head to toe healing and all this stuff. But I just had other responsibilities over there. And I, I just knew that I eventually had to rip the bandaid off, so to speak. So <laughs> Dr. Reese is always, you know, hinting at like, I should be over there and that it would just work out so much better if we were all just, you know, connected. And it, it's, it's very true. Uh, it was probably one of the most life changing things for me. I mean, being the age I am, it's pretty much just like going into college. I mean, yeah, but I'm he's getting, he's off getting in a some different life world. experience, Ryan. He's <laughs> getting some life experience over here. <laughs> it's not just health, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, yeah. That, one of the biggest things was uh, mindfulness. Uh, Kevin here taught me so much. I'm such a great mentor for all my questions. I mean, it's it's a big journey, but. It really started when I started working with Kevin over uh, last February is when I got involved with you. It's been a year. But, yeah. Yeah, it's it's been very much a practice for that. And ever since I've been here, it's just like it gets better, you know, every single day. It's like <laughs> the, the purpose that I wake up with over here is just – it's remarkable. I mean, the testimonials that we get and the cause that we're up against, you know, the medical monopoly. I mean, I, I live with um, people that are in the medical monopoly and to see their life like how it is, it's, it, it only gives me that much more purpose. So I'm really, really grateful to be a part of this grateful to be over here yeah and ryan if i could inject a story here i had an office and you know just a regular size office and i was doing that by myself and then i decided i wanted a podcast studio so i got another office across the hall and so it was still too small for what i wanted to do and then this beautiful suite opened up and I would come up to the suite almost every day and walk through it empty and just be like, man, I can do something with this. And at the time I was doing that, I was talking with Levi, you know, he was, he was working with us, but virtually. And then once that urgency hit, on whether I'm going to buy the place or not. I was just like, Levi, are you coming or not? <laughs> 
if you're not coming, it doesn't make sense for me to buy this place. Are we going to do this or what? You know? And so Levi coming to Connecticut, traveling to Connecticut is a very, very big piece of what we're doing here. And it also attracted Coach Sean, who came a month later. So he saw Levi like, holy, holy crap. <laughs> and he already liked the work. So it was like, you know, everything was just in alignment, I guess. But Levi making that jump was what sparked us to go to the next level, you know. And I got rid of the other two offices and I just moved into this suite. And now we're expanding and getting more space. Sounds sweet. <laughs> sweet the sweet is sweet we're much more powerful together yes and uh levi you mentioned that uh dr reese helped you with your mindfulness and yeah i mean a lot of people think that our job is to help other people and it is but if we don't take care of our own mindfulness our own mental health then this business can easily crush you easily i've seen oh many many people come and go because it's so hard to deal with people at their worst, especially if you don't have a good program. Luckily, you guys do have a good program. But yeah, you were living with your parents before, right? Yeah. So even if we love our parents, like I love my mom, but I can't do much at her house. You know, it's just it's not <laughs> it's not set up for it. It's not the vibe. Yeah. I either I either got to be by myself in grind <laughs> mode or be around other people who are on the same page. And dedicated to this as well. And also understand the difficulties of it because we have to look out for each other. You know, and you guys do posture as well. I could use someone to remind me, hey, you got to sit up straight. You know, I try and remind myself, to be honest. Actually, uh, Dr. Reese, since you introduced me to the importance of posture, I see it everywhere now. You know, you made those videos about like uh, Vince McMahon and Muhammad Ali and stuff and showing how their, their head is all forward and how, okay, now they're their brain can't really drain properly. Yep. My goodness, I see this everywhere now yep. on, on TV, on, on YouTube. I, yeah, sh fighters and sports stars and people at the grocery store. Wow, that must be one of the biggest posture problems out there. Yeah, yes, it is. And it's coming from the thoracic spine. And then the thoracic spine is coming from the lumbar spine. The lumbar spine is coming from the pelvis. So we're always coming back to that pelvis which you can see Mr. Bones behind me. I mean, this pelvis is everything. It's the core of our entire body. It also affects the gut, you know? And so if you ever get someone with a gut issue and the nutrition doesn't fully clean it up, it's that lumbar spine. Because if the lumbar spine is not in order, that's right in the back of the gut. And so your intestines can get out of order and out of alignment and it can totally mess up your digestion. And so that's how powerful posture is. Yeah. Plus the vagus nerve that connect, connects the gut and brain. Like mm -hmm. most people have that like hunchback. Yep. It's tough. And you call, uh, I love your word. You call us computer athletes. Right. And we're very prone to these types of problems. Yeah, I'm I'm still, you know, just because I'm the uh, world's most most famous fake doctor doesn't mean I don't have health issues. You know, 40, 40 years of being a computer athlete, well, not exactly. Well, probably from you know, 13 years old on, so it's just a lot of decades and the body becomes compromised. And then you go out and you do something, you could just go for a jog. And all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, you know, your, your, your knee gives out and you think it's from the jog, but it's not, <laughs> it's from all those years of, uh, getting your body out of alignment from being on a computer or whatever activity it is that you're doing. I, I'm nursing an injury right now. I left hip, you know, it, it happened during sex, but I know that it's not from sex. It's from being a computer athlete for the last 30 years. <laughs> Maybe the best way to get an injury. 
<laughs> I wear it proud, my friend. So, you mentioned thyroid. Yeah. You guys have any thyroid cases to talk about? There's so many, I don't even know them all off the top of my head. Who's got them lined up here, Levi? Yeah, yeah so... You want to play them, or we're talking about them? You could share the screen and play some if you wanted, I'm sure. Okay. And let me just say that over the past two, maybe three years is only when I started really paying attention to thyroid. Yeah. And it, uh, it, it confused me a lot because there was quite a few people, especially women, who were doing everything right. They're yeah. on the proper supplement program. They're not eating the bad foods. In fact, they eat better than I do. They exercise. You know, everything seems to be fine, but they're having trouble losing stubborn weight, especially. That would be one of the biggest things. And especially mm -hmm. with women, they got 20, 30, 50 pounds that they just can't get off. And mm -hmm. I'm having trouble explaining it, but they're doing everything right. What's going on? So thyroid. It yeah. really uh, it hit me one day that it was thyroid. Sent me down a two-year rabbit hole learning about it. And even to this day... Now I'm still finding cases that haven't gotten their perfect results yet. And we finally get on the Zoom and go over, you know, their case top to bottom and find out that it's okay. It's probably a thyroid problem. I, I didn't know how to notice this before and I didn't know what to do about it. So it, I think it's one of the most unknown problems, you know, especially doctors. They'll say if your TSH is like under four, your thyroid stimulating hormone. Oh, it's under four, or under 3.8 or whatever their range is. Oh, you can't possibly have a thyroid problem because you're still within range is what they say. Right. Now I'm re realizing that if your TSH is like 0 0.8, that's probably low thyroid. And you can obviously you can look at other symptoms, you know, are your hands cold, feet cold? You got a cold nose. You're wearing a sweater in 90 degree weather. Everyone yeah. else is hot and you're not. Do you have 20, 30, 50 pounds, especially around the midsection that's just not going away? Uh, you know, is your hair thinning? Is it brittle? Those types of things I really just wasn't paying attention to before. You know, I was just like, okay, you don't have arthritis anymore. You know, it's great. But still, there was still an underlying thyroid problem. And I, I was patting myself on the back that they don't have joint pain or their blood pressure went down. And yet they still had these symptoms that I couldn't explain. I'm just saying, more often than not, it's been a thyroid problem. It's been a tricky thing. And it's definitely underappreciated. There's probably millions of extra hypothyroid cases out there that are not diagnosed or that their doctor told them now nah, your thyroid's got to be fine because your TSH is within range. Right. And certainly can mess up calcium too, but right back to posture, thyroids in throat area, cervical neck, the cervical, huge, huge. If somebody's got that forward head, they got pressure coming down on that thyroid and parathyroid you know so this this posture stuff man it is fascinating never thought about that before yeah crunching yeah. the thyroid and, and so if the medical monopoly doctor runs labs and the lab comes out normal like we were just talking about it could be a thyroid issue still but it could be posture causing a thyroid issue and then, and then that branches out. It's a snowball effect. And then that creates other symptoms. So again, we're right back to head to toe healing and saying, you know, it's nice to know the cause. And that's why we have our discovery analysis to make people trust us and see what's wrong. But at the end of the day, dude, just get healthy from head to toe. Get your body back into alignment. We can see that. We can see that. And then get your nutrition back into alignment. And we can, you can't always see that, but a, bl a blood test can tell you a little bit. But the bottom line is you just get these things in order and the body will do its work. Levi, you got a case for us? So as for like thyroid and Hashimoto's, can't find one right now, but I do have gut issues uh testimonials i should say <laughs> and i do have lupus let's do the lupus i know you guys posted a hashimoto's 
not that long ago, maybe three, four months ago. I shared it. I don't even remember. I know we get, trust me, my yeah. records too, I get lost too. My marketing director let me know this morning that we released um, 300 pieces of content in February so far. Wow. So it's just, it's just all blur, man. You see this? Hold on. Before you go, Levi, go down, please. Yeah. Keep going till you see her hips. See that? Look at that, Ryan. This woman never paid us a dime. She just was listening to the videos. <laughs> Look at her left hip. So for the audio, because the vast majority of people will be listening on audio, and P.S. for the audio listeners, I have been posting videos I've been posting all of the video versions of the podcast when they're available. They all go on Patreon, patreon.com slash the real not us. All the episodes, whether they're audio or video, go up at least one week early on Patreon, sometimes several weeks early if I'm very on top of things. But I've also been posting some of these video versions to YouTube and Rumble. All of those links are in the description. So we're looking at a woman here and her one hip, obviously, even from untrained eye, her hip is way out of whack and yeah. her kind of her whole body looks out of whack because yeah. of that. Yeah. Like her, her one, her right leg is sort of jutted a little bit backward. Like Levi, what's the, what's the comment there above? I just wanted to post and say, thank you. I found Dr. Reese on IG by pure divine design. It's been four months of hard work, but it's starting to pay off. I've lost five pounds. The chronic pain, fatigue, and anxiety are decreasing with every month that goes by. The pic below shows what diet changes, static back, and essential nutrients can do. Wow. So her spine is not perfect from what I can see, but her legs have gotten a lot better. Her hips are straight. Yeah. More straight. Almost straight. Yeah. Big improvement. Yeah. Her, and even though she said she only lost five pounds... It looks like her body has changed shape quite a bit. It looks quite a bit healthier. Yeah. And, and again, this, this woman never paid us a dime. I mean, she bought the book. She bought the book and she watches the videos online. She's not even doing a posture of therapy routine. Well, that static back is powerful stuff, man. It's a very basic exercise that goes a long way. I've shared it with several people. Yep. People, people like us who sit for a living construction workers all kinds of people actually they've said you know i got a posture problem i don't think i can uh, fully afford the full program but is there anything i can do i said we'll check out their free exercises that they've got yeah that's, that's usually the first one it's the easiest one to do and yep. there's a lot of people who don't want to go a day without that yeah postural therapy is just it's for everyone it's how about this knee pain for here? anyone levi go down please how about this one knee and hip pain gone yeah, I play that. Body wise, I would say I used to have a lot of body aches. So everything from, you know, hip pain, knee pain, and achiness, upper back pain, um, just overall, I think just because A, I'm sitting all day, but then I'm the other extreme where I'm standing all day at the restaurant. So my body's like, what are you doing? And with the postural therapy, I notice that when I'm really consistent with it, I don't even notice like like what's knee pain. I don't have knee pain. Right. When I'm doing it consistently. When it's doing consistent, right. Because when you fall off for a couple of days and you're like, wait you, a minute. You feel it. Uh, <laughs> you feel it. But when you're consistent, it's it really makes a difference. Um, and you might have seen my post some posture photos that I've taken, but my feet used to be like duck feet, like they'd stick out. Mm -hmm. And I would walk that way. And since being on the program, my feet have come more in, walking straighter. You know, my shoulders are going back more. My alignment's better. And just everything, I think because of that, everything is like flowing and, and flushing out of my system as it should. Yeah. I should say my feet were duck feet too. <laughs> They're not anymore. I'm not doing the hardcore therapy anymore, but I keep up with the basic exercises every day and most days. And yeah, it's made a huge difference. I used to wear my shoes down on one side and not the other. It literally ruined my shoes. So I couldn't walk straight even if I wanted to because one side of my shoes were worn down. And yeah. now I'm, I'm walking straight. 
my shoes are fine. I had to throw one pair of shoes out because they're worn down on one side. Yeah, that, and that's something we tell people. Look at the bottom of your shoes. It tells a story. It, that used to be a big problem when I was a kid. Hey, eh? my mom would be like, "I just, I just bought you shoes like three months ago, and I've ruined them." <laughs> yeah. Now this is one of your favorite topics here: stigmatism. Mm -hmm. I'm press play on that. Yeah, stigmatism gone. It says gone. I've I've said that it, you, if you're born with it, you're probably not going to get rid of it unless you do muscle exercises. So I'm yeah. I'm excited. Let's hear it. What'd you tell the eye doctor? Well, I was more asking questions to her why I've always just had it that I have a stigmatism in my left eye. And um, I've had a prescription that would, you know, make that stigmatism not blurry, just getting worse. You know, it, it has to be getting worse. So when she told me that my that my prescription had changed, I said, okay, so, you know, what, what happened? She said, well, your stigmatism is getting better. I go, what, what do you mean by that? What, so explain that to me <laughs> it's because what do you mean it's getting better? Yeah. Um, she said, it's, it's not, the way it used to be and it's three times better so that she had to change my prescription up to three times better than what it was so i was like so blurry because my eye was better and it was trying to look through blurry <laughs> it was trying to look through old mm. you know that the where it was when it was not better it was like <laughs> crazy but that's what it was doing. It was my eyes were blurry, but I couldn't figure out what, why they were blurry. Well, because my eyes are getting better. <laughs> oh, well. She goes, what do you do? And I said, well, so I did tell her. So what do you do? And I said, well, I, I take a lot of uh, supplements and I'm in a program. Yeah, you're, said, you're hanging around a charlatan with a rabbit. That's right. <laughs> Well, my, my other, when my, my, um, gastric bypass starts, she goes, <laughs> she goes, wow, your blood test lit up like a Christmas tree. What are you doing? Did you find the fountain of youth? I said, yes. <laughs> yes, I did. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> so that, that's how I see this program is, is my fountain of youth. Yeah. So that's, that's Linda. She's she's 72 years old. This is amazing stuff, guys. So actually, I, I never even thought about this with myself. I have an astigmatism. I've had it my whole life. I've also a little bit nearsighted, a little bit farsighted. My eyes are pretty junk. But as you were playing that, you probably saw me. I took my glasses off and I was holding my hand in front of me. And I'm like, oh, wow. My astigmatism has actually gotten better. And I didn't even realize it. <laughs> my double vision used to be huge 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 and i did the exercises when i was a kid i probably should have done them more but yeah i'm just realizing that i actually have to kind of strain to pull the images apart now because that's one of the main problems with the stigmatism one eye is stronger than the other eye right so right. it pulls images apart and you get double vision but yeah i have to actually kind of now force it it's still there a little bit i'm not gonna lie to you Still there a little bit, but I just realized, you know, it's like the frog boiling, right? You don't notice it until it's boiled. Wow, it's actually gotten a heck of a lot better. It's almost mm -hmm. completely gone. And I have to put in some effort now to pull the images apart. Weird. There you go. There you go. And if a 72-year-old woman can do it, we can definitely do it. Yeah. yeah. So, so that that's from posture therapy and, and nutrition and everything? Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Keep now, going, do you remember off the top of your head what her posture problem was? What, what her P rays looked like? I don't remember. No, I'd be interested, but she had bad posture. Oh, everyone does. Everyone does. This woman's remarkable. Uh, frozen shoulder and depression gone. Uh -huh. Yeah, look at that. I could do the matrix now. 
I just want everyone to know that she couldn't lift her arms up, what, three months ago? I couldn't move my right arm at all. Yeah. And now I can. I'm very blessed to have come across all your paths and keep my coach Keisha. She's yeah. phenomenal. Good, good. I just, I wanted to bring you on at this moment so that someone like Susie can see where she's going to be in a few months. Cause you, you were, uh, you know, what we like to call a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> That's what me? I call me. I'm still a hot mess. <laughs> like, don't take, don't take that away from me. Oh, you're warm now. You're warm. You went from hot to warm. Yeah. Yeah. I hadn't moved my arm since last May. And so I, I wow. was, you know, I couldn't do a lot of exercises. So I was immobile. And I think I had, well, I know I had depression and then, you know, got off the floor for four and with the nutrition supplements like i have my energy back i started bike riding eight miles a day last week um mm. it's just been a total reverse and now it's just like i don't want nothing interfering with my natural being i don't want anything interfering with that and the supplements just let me feel what it is just to be and be present and just have all my nutrition and i'm like so happy so okay. good good well i tell your story all the time that you couldn't wash your hair and then you finally could wash your hair thank you dr reese thank you so yeah yeah go ahead in that uh, clip, she mentioned the poor four yeah. foods. Some yeah. people get a little bit confused about this. They ask me, they say, hey, wh why is Dr. Reese talking about the poor four? Yeah. Why is Dr. Glidden talking about the 12 bad foods? Yeah. And why are you, Ryan? You're not even mentioning any of this. You, I, I've gone into the Wallach mode and I just, you know, rattle off the foods. But you, you've got it into a nice four simple categories. What yeah, we they? got we got it into gluten, oil, fried, and fake. And we even have a song now that we're releasing a little jingle. <laughs> so do you have a preview of that? Yeah, I'm sure Levi could bring it up. Gluten, oil, fried, and fake. That's, that's easy to remember. Yeah. And, and it's, it's working, dude. We got people all across the world, Ryan, checking in with us. Like, I, I got off these four foods and this went away, that went away. This <laughs> Let's hear this jingle. <laughs> Gluten, oils, fried and fake. If you eat these foods, it's a great mistake. Avoid them when you're at your store. These are the foods we call the poor four. There's three other, two other verses too. Who, whose voice is that? So these are uh, actors and singers I have for my Sunlight Sunny Children's franchise. And so, yeah, that's um, Franny and Fred. Farmers. Well, it's good. Kids, kids got to know this stuff, man. They're, yeah. I don't want to get political, but you see the stuff they're putting in kids' books these days. Yeah. They, they, need, they need something that's actually going to help them. Yeah, man. And, not like, hey, you can choose to be an elephant if you want. That's not going to help you in life. <laughs> and in my cookbook, you know, again, you you and Chef Norman inspiring me. It's called Dinner with Dr. Reese. And the subtitle is 100 Recipes Without the Poor Four Food. So it's like yours, cooking without the bad food. Mm -hmm. So that's where the inspiration came from. But yeah, I just... As a teacher, I just wanted to simplify it. And to me, gluten, oil, fried, and fake will get the job done. If if somebody has 
the sea monster or something like that, then we can go a little further and say, you know, watch out for the peanuts and watch out for the potato skins and all that. But generally speaking, gluten, oil, fried and fake does the trick. Mm -hmm. A lot of times gluten does a trick on its own. Yeah. But uh, thankfully, a lot of people are catching on to the oil thing as well. That's becoming a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I like that. Levi, let's see another one. These are awesome. Usually I have to wait quite a while to, to get keep going to, up to be able to talk about a testimonial too. Look but at when, this body change. Look at this body change. One of our clients, Christine has graduated the 120. She's down 30 pounds. She feels good about her relationship with food. So that's good. And her legs have changed a lot. She says they're beautiful now, supposedly, and she can see her knees. So yay. <laughs> nice. Is she here? Hi. Hi, Christine. Hi. How do you feel about all the changes that you went through? Amazing. I mean, I wish I could tell everybody. I mean, I've I've told people, but I just don't think they believe. I mean, people are not <laughs> there yet. A lot of people are just not there yet. The posture, I think it's amazing. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I, your photos. I mean, you're you're like get, you're getting cut up. I know, <laughs> and I'm not even like at the gym. It's in my bedroom on a box <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're getting abs <laughs> I know. it's amazing i mean the first thing that jumps out is you toned up i mean look at this you are slim and trim i mean look at your belly alone like your belly button not only is more pronounced coming out on this little gut air but it's pointing to the left not here <laughs> not here look at that you got abs coming in i mean come on look at that that's pretty cool pretty pretty cool your legs look straighter way legs straighter. definitely look straighter shoulders look le more level still more work to go yeah look at this look how much trimmer you are i can see your spine awesome now look at this april 16th your hands are hiding in front of your thighs now they're out here <laughs> that means your shoulders are not pinned forward anymore oh my gosh look at that difference look at that it's so on point look your hip is on point on the left side your shoulder and your ear and look at this look at this look at this you got a flat back right you got a curve now you got your curve look at that your, you got your S curve. Look at this with the gut. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. So that, that was huge um, for the audio people too. Her arms were, as you said, flex forward, but they're also on an angle. They weren't even straight up and down. Yeah. And her back was straight before, which is actually a problem. Like in her lower back, she had a straight line there, but now she's got a, proper curve right how does that happen how do you get that straight lower back you mean how do you how do you get the the flat back to begin with yeah yeah okay so that's the pelvis going posterior i don't know if you can see this behind me mm -hmm. but it would be coming down in the back when the pelvis gets pulled down in the back that pelvis gets back. it gets pulled down what do you mean yeah the pelvis gets pulled down in the back uh, you know, where the butt is. Okay. And that straightens the vertebrae. And then if the pelvis comes back to neutral, then the curve comes back. Does that cause lower back pain? It can, yes. Not to mention sciatica and uh, C-section surgeries, endometriosis, PCOS. What do you mean C-section surgery? Well, when that happens, the womb moves. So the medical monopoly can't get the baby out like they need to. So they have to do surgery because it's you, not lined up. You hear them blaming that cervical flexion. You hear them blaming that for endometriosis. You're saying yeah. they just go hand in hand. They go hand in hand. It, it, it just manifests different in everybody. So someone might have PCOS. Someone might have endometriosis. 
some some woman might have e- neither and just needed a C-section surgery. But when you have a posterior pelvic tilt, the womb moves. All right? If the if the womb was um I'm going to use my cup as an example. If the womb is supposed to be like this, and then all of a sudden it moves like that, just that one or two inches changes the birth. So it might make it a more dangerous birth where now they're like, hey, we got to do a C-section because the baby might get stuck. That's right. Interesting. Yeah. These people, did any of them start off their posture problem with an injury? Or this is all just normal bad posture? It's all normal bad posture. You get people with injuries? Every now and again. Every now and again. But it's mostly just people all messed up. The knees hurt, their hip hurts, they got sciatica, you know. We got someone with sciatica now, and so, you know, he's in a lot of pain. We're just pumping him full of calcium and magnesium and, you know, doing these exercises, and I'm confident that it will release. Sciatica is a weird one. It, it could take two days to release. It could take two years. It's just a crazy little condition there. True. Yeah, I agree. I've seen it fast. I've seen it slow. Yep. Yeah. Whereas type two diabetes can just go away like that. Coach Tamara was in one of those videos too. And yep. she's looking great. She's looking super healthy. Yeah. Yeah, a she is. Big difference from a couple of years ago. I'm not saying she looked bad before, but that was well, I, res- I rescued her in the gutter. <laughs> she was, she was a vegan for 17 years. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was it. Yeah. Yeah, she she needed fat and cholesterol real bad. No, right. I wanted to take it back um, for the injuries. Right now, we do have someone going through the 120 program. And this guy actually had psoriasis, like pretty, you know, on his forehead and stuff. But it's one of our testimonials right now. His skin is like completely clear. From nutrition and posture, of course, right? Yeah. 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 From Australia, Mitch, I think he's talking about. Yeah. You, you probably get the gist by now, Ryan, that a lot of our testimonials are coming from Zoom meetings. And we're just facilitating a community. So if I'm going around the room and I'm, you know, a coach gives me an update. So before I even come on, I get an update that says, hey, Mitch, Mitch's psoriasis is gone. So now, I can be like, Mitch, I hear your psoriasis is gone. What's going on here? And then he talks and we have a conversation and that's all recorded. So that's one of the reasons how we're catching so much on video right now. Yeah, I think it's really, really great. So I wanted to bring something up here. Sometimes people don't even realize how far they've come. So I was on a call with a woman this week. And I had spoken to her probably a month ago, maybe three to five weeks ago or something like that. And she had a whole bunch of different problems. She's still struggling to get her last bit of weight off. That's why I put her on a iodine, a high dose of iodine. And I'm hoping that's going to actually get rid of the last bit of weight. But as we were going through a case, I'm like, hey, so do you, do you still have this problem? We spoke about last time I wrote them all down. You still have this problem? Oh, no, actually, that's a lot better. Oh, no, actually, I actually even forgot I had that. Oh, no, no, no. everything was better except for a little bit of stubborn weight. And I had to remind her, like, you realize how far you've come, right? This is this is great. This is fantastic progress. Yeah. And she's kind of zeroing in on the weight. But at the same time, she's also like, yeah, but my body kind of feels like it's reshaping, too, at the same time. You know, so pounds might not always be the best way to measure the progress. But every every other thing that she was complaining about is, is no longer a thing. In uh, right. in whatever it was, three to five weeks, let's call it five weeks. Uh, that's fantastic, you know. But um, in this business, something that I haven't done, we sh- I should do. There's a uh, a checklist form that uh, people can rate their problems on scale of one to ten. And you know, how, how's your pain here, digestion, da 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 da. Yeah. And uh, I've neglected that form, but I'm I'm thinking of implementing it full time. Because people people often forget, like, hey, you know, you you rated your pain a nine, like two months ago. Now you're at a two, right? But they we're 
as humans, we focus in on the negative, right? So if if you're perfectly fine, but you get a headache, I mean, that can like take over everything, take over all your thoughts. Same with a stomach ache or yeah, you get a sore knee. Now that's everything. But we didn't, we tend to forget that, uh, oh yeah, I used to actually have this problem and this problem and this problem and this problem and this problem. And most of them are better. I'm at a one here and a three here, but you know, I was at eight and nine and everything else. Just saying a lot of people actually forget how far they've come in even such a short period of time, but especially over the course of six months or something, things start yeah. to get better gradually. And you just, you tend to forget how bad it was. Yeah. And, that, and that's why one of the reasons why we do the discovery analysis, we also have a form and I have the coaches updated every, you know, every 60 days. Good habits. Yeah, man. Because we take it for granted. We take, we can take healing for granted to, uh, we can take healing for granted as well, too. Oh, yeah. Definitely. It's Levi, fun. you got another one? Yeah, I know it's getting a bit repetitive, but this is fun and this is informative. And I, it's good that it's repetitive. It should be repetitive. Start with problem, end with no problem. That's what we like to see. But these stories are great. Oh, look at this scoliosis. Big oh, one. Yeah, she's a good one. <laughs> uh, last week, I talked with Susie. And Susie... I don't know, Susie, you kind of made it sound like you didn't know if things were going well, but I looked at your photos and you're straight. Yeah, I, I'm i glad you did that because it did, it gave me a lift. I, I mean, I was I was shocked. I really was because I, I it was clear to me that something had gotten better. It was stra I was straighter. Way yeah. straighter. Like, yeah. Do you mind if I show everyone your photos? No, right? I don't mind. OK, hold on. Everyone this is a seven-year-old woman. <laughs> How so, beautiful. Could, could you oh, pause wow. for a sec? From May. So in her first photo, she's fully leaning forward and to the left, like big. Yeah. This is not straight at all. And when you when you take these posture, these P rays, these posture photos, you tell people to try and stand as straight as possible. So, no, I, I yeah, well, I tell them to stand natural. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. If that's natural, that's bad. I mean, yeah. her her left foot is kind of like, looks like it's shy. It's kind of hanging out in the back. You know, her feet are uh, sort of duck feet there as well. The one, the knees are not aligned at all. The shoulders are not aligned at all. One's forward, one's backward. Her hands are hiding behind her. And yeah, that spine is, you could tell it's crooked from the front. Yeah, man. And She's a great example of what we were just talking about. She didn't know how much she was healing. And she was down on herself. 70-year-old woman. Let's keep playing it. Hey to August, look how crooked she is. Yeah. And look how straight she is. That's now huge. Let's look at the back. Look at this. Wow. That is that is amazing. I have to say Look at that. Yeah. You're, to you're totally being pulled to the left. Yes. Yes. And then, and I think you're I, starting to get some abs too. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you're making progress. I mean, look, you know, you're, you're straightening out. If that can happen, it's I know. Emotional I know. It, it, it makes me optimistic. It, yeah, it really does. Yeah. Your little call to me uh, made a big difference. Yeah, it did. All right, cool. Thank you. All right, we'll talk soon. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's a big wow, wow, wow. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Kevin, you even told me I had a hint of scoliosis. I, I never included that in my um, description of myself. I was born with dislocated hips, if if not anyone knows. that's I grew up with pain. It wasn't because of the hips. I guess they put me in uh, two or three diapers when I was a kid to try and keep the hips into place. And wow. they, they did. They didn't. The hips didn't slip out again. But I grew up in pain. I still had the musculoskeletal issues all the way until my 26th birthday. And uh, the nutrition fixed the pain, fixed the cramps, fixed the twitching, fixed a lot of things, changed my life and quickly. Yeah. But my spine was still crooked. When I right. sent you my P rays, because nutrition by itself will not straighten your spine out. No, but it, it'll give you the. This is why I combine everything because it, it'll give you 
the elasticity for a lack of better word so that the posture therapy can move things around mm -hmm. look at this one tmj this woman was in, in bad shape here and she's a coach with us when now. i first contacted you i was actually kind of reflecting on conversations and my notes that have been taken throughout this process mm -hmm. that was one of the main reasons why i contacted you in the beginning back in december yeah um was TMJ. And I don't even, honestly, I don't even know if I really had it. You always talk about the medical monopoly. I think the dental monopoly is just the same because I got in the chair and then they told me I had one problem and then I visited somebody else and they told me I had another problem and then it escalated where I had TMJ and then all of a sudden they're fitting me for this really expensive $4,000 appliance that I bought and then it changed my jaw. And um, once I found you, I was I was really excited because they were trying to convince me to do this protocol that was going to be fourteen thousand dollars. Whoa! And that wasn't even going to take care of all of my issues. I ended up ditching the appliance that I bought after wearing it for a few months, and then found you um, and started doing the protocols. And my jaw went back into the place it was supposed to be. And my pain went away. I don't have my neck pain, my <laughs> shoulder pain. So the migraines are gone. The migraines are gone. The upper back pain's gone. The neck pain's gone. The jaw pain, I'm, the jaw pain's gone too. In 120 days. Yeah, actually today's 122. There you go. That's awesome. And it went so on... fast, yeah. so fast. I wasn't even counting the days. Yeah. If I didn't look at my little chart to know what day it was, I, it didn't it didn't matter because I knew I was making progress. Yeah. And she she's a coach with us now too, Coach Karen. That's a yeah. big one too. Migraines can completely ruin your life if you get them all the time. You, you... Oh, sp speaking of that. <laughs> Do another one. <laughs> Grisel is powerful, man. I used to suffer from migraines. I suffer from that 14 years. I I mean, stop me from going to work, uh, my daily activity, um, and that's gone away. Um, pressure, a lot of pain in my right eye, I mean, my, my right side, and I would have to cover my eye, isolate myself into a dark room, very quiet, and I used to feel the weather coming. Literally, I used to feel the weather coming and tell people there's a storm coming, everybody hush, hush, be quiet. Now I don't even get that. Now, when the rain comes down, there's thundering, everything, I'm like, let it rain. Yeah, I'm back to when I was in high school. Even my, my neck thin out, I lost weight, but that's a bonus. The weight loss is a bonus of healing because I was so swollen from all the prednisone, a lot of medication. I could say your name them all because I used to pick them up every monthly at CVS. Now they're not going to see my face. So they just lost a customer. <laughs> she went from 15 meds to one. Wow. Yeah. These are great, man. Yeah. And we, and, but here, you want to know something interesting. We post these on social media at least twice a week and they hardly get any likes. They hardly get any comments. It's only when I talk about cholesterol or the medical monopoly that I get go quote unquote viral, but nobody's sharing these. <laughs> It's interesting, hey, you, you know, people say testimonials are kind of boring, but like we do all this work, yep. we put out all this information, it's controversial information, we get all this flack for putting out the information, yep. the people who actually listen to it and actually do it, you get these kind of results, and you show these results, and almost no one cares. Yeah. It's crazy. And a no. lot of these people go back to their doctor and they say, hey, doc, you know, remember that thing you've been treating me for for 12 years and I haven't seen you in about a year? Well, this is why. <laughs> but, and the doctor says, oh, that's good. Keep doing it. Keep doing what you're doing. That's the that's the famous line. Yeah. And they don't even question. They, what, what did you do? Who helped you with that? What do you, what do you mean supplements? What Can I take a look at them? What kind of doses have you been taking? Nope. What do you mean posture? What, what does posture have to do about this? Not interested in learning. No, nope. I'm not saying all doctors. I'm saying. I have yet to encounter a doctor who one of our people went back to them and they were like, well, 
can I contact them? Can I, what do they do? I've been, yeah. I've been dealing with your deep diabetes for 12 years. And wh what do you mean in a month and a half, it was your A1C was down to normal and no doctor has ever contacted me for that. Yeah. I That's do get a lot of doctors contacting me. It's split. Some of them are very angry with me. And I'm not talking about doctors from the clients, but just in general on social media. But we're getting a lot of doctors now that want to learn. I'm getting doctors slipping into the DM saying, hey, I want to learn this head to heal, head to toe healing stuff. So, you know, really looking forward to this academy when, when the time comes. Let yeah. me tell you guys a tragic story. Mm -hmm. I spoiled it because I already told you it's tragic. So I got an email on a Saturday night. Didn't answer it because I try, I try and do other things on the weekend. You know, before we got on recording here, we joked about, yeah, there's no days off in this business. It's a Sunday right now. We're all here doing this. Mm -hmm. But uh, on Saturday, Sunday, I I like to like is a weird word. I have to do editing and, and stuff that, you know, you can't do during the week. So I just try and ignore the emails unless it's urgent. In this case, it said urgent, but I still didn't catch it. People are off on Saturday, Sunday, so they'll I'll get 60 emails on Saturday. You know, it's it's nuts. I have to ignore it. As Levi mentioned, and we talked about earlier, you, you need to take care of your own mental health as well. Even if I still have to work on the weekend, I have to take those days off from, you know, doing protocols and stuff like that. But if I do see an urgent email, I will answer it. In this case, I didn't see it. It was like Saturday night. You know, I just didn't see it. So I finally got around to answering it Monday when I was going through the emails. And um, in the email, it said, you know, this is my sister or, or whatever. She's in the hospital with congestive heart failure. And her doctors have have said, OK, we're, we're willing to do something else now. Basically, her doctors gave them permission to reach out to the vitamin guy, right, to me. And uh, the problem was these doctors waited until it was way too late because she died that night. She died that Saturday night. Mm -hmm. And they had her on 14 drugs. She, I think, to my memory, is 14 drugs and a couple of other things that are not really drugs, but, you know, like potassium or whatever. So... They had her on 14 drugs. She wasn't getting any better. In fact, she was getting worse. But they waited until she was literally on the brink of death to say, oh, it's okay. I'll get, now we can reach out to the vitamin guy and see what he says. And of course, I call Wallach, you know, I get a whole protocol ready. We're going to throw the kitchen sink at them because this is life or death. But no, nope, you guys waited until it's way too long. She needed B1. She needed, yeah, a little bit of everything, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I, I same situation here, man. I, I know someone in the hospital literally right now. Uh, congestive heart failure. I'm, check the B1. Check the B1. Check the B1. They don't check the B1. It's criminal. I'm throwing CoQ10 in my congestive protocol now, by the way. Okay. And uh, if you guys didn't know, we have thousands of products, by the way. I don't expect anybody to memorize the catalog. I, st I still come across new products that we've got like, oh, I forgot about that one or oh, I don't even know about that one. Oh, they came out with another new one. We have so many products, but we have this one. Uh, it's made by the Integris company. It's in our catalog and it's called CoQ10. It also mm -hmm. has extra vitamin E in it. So to me, especially in those emergency cases, heart failure, congestive heart failure, I'm now adding the, the Integris CoQ10 Obviously, of course, the selenium as well. And I do believe uh, Dr. Wallach, yeah, he gave the full boat brain and heart pack plus uh, de-stress for the extra B1, Please. of course. We yeah. do got a decent dose, a good dose, actually, of, of B1 in our regular products. But yeah, if you're on your deathbed with congestive heart failure, we want to throw in some extra here. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just telling you guys, I'm adding CoQ10 to that protocol. Yeah, it's interesting that you mentioned that because I've had... I've had a lot of people die as well through my career and not clients, just people that reach out for help, but they don't pull the trigger. You know, they don't mm -hmm. exchange the money. They don't do the contract. They don't take the step forward. And yeah, I, I ran into someone on my Facebook messenger from 2014 who was no longer with us. And I was just glancing through the conversation. I'm like, man, Oh my gosh. You know, it's just another person detoxing their brains out. Uh, so I come across a lot of people who, because I used to be in that field, as you know, people just detoxing their brains out and losing nutrition as they do it. It's probably the hardest thing in this business. 
it's happened to me. I can't count how many times now, dozens, maybe close to a hundred times where the person waited too long, got too, too bad. And they die before the products arrive. Like, yeah, some of them do say, okay, yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's, all right, let's do this. Last year, I think maybe the year before talked to this man, had a nice long conversation with him. He was like an 81 year old man. He was so excited to get started. He died that night, yeah. you know? And so it's like for obviously for most of you guys who are listening, most of the people listening are like my age and younger and mostly men, you know, young men, which is amazing that you guys are paying attention to this type of thing now so that that never, ever happens to you. You never, ever let it get so bad. Congestive heart failure doesn't happen overnight. This takes 10, 20, 30 years to really, really catch up with you. And by that point, yeah, you are on 14 drugs. I don't know how many drugs she was on on a regular basis, but the, whatever. When she was in the hospital, she was on 14 drugs. But in her regular life, she probably was on six, seven, eight drugs. Yeah. And clearly they weren't working. See this yeah. all the time. People on three, four different blood pressure drugs. And I got to sit there and say, clearly the drug's not working, right? If the first one worked, they wouldn't put you on the second one. If they both worked, they wouldn't put you on the third and the fourth. You know, you're on three different blood sugar drugs, et cetera. You will never let it get this bad if you just do the basics, just the basics, the bare minimum. You will right. never, ever end up in a hospital with congestive heart failure like that because, yeah, you know, man dies that night. He said, yes, he gave the credit card. Let's do it. Let's get the products. Just dies before the products arrived. Would the products have saved his life? I don't know. Probably not. To be honest, you're already at, you're already at the end. This has also happened several times, too. Again, someone's they're they're in the hospital on their deathbed. And at that point, honestly, it doesn't even matter if the products arrive. It's just, it might work. It might, there's miracles, they happen, but don't let it get this bad. My gosh, my gosh. Right. And uh, yeah, we do see this all the time too, though, where people wait, you know, even people that, oh, I've been bugging my grandma to do this, but she had to wait until she got into the hospital to finally say, okay, I'm, I'm ready to do it. That's too late. Don't wait that long. And that's, just, this is what makes our job harder too. You know, especially when they're excited to do it. This is what it, it breaks hearts. It makes people leave this business, too, because, you you know, you put it all into this person. You know, I've, I've, now that they're educated and all this stuff, you know, we, we rapidly educated them in a couple of days or even in one two hour long phone call. They're finally ready to go. You waited way too long. They die that night yeah. or, yeah, they they die before we can answer the email or something like that. It's happened lots and lots of times. Very, yeah. very tough to deal with. Yep. It's happened to me too, uh, working with Kevin here. It's uh, working the messages and, you know, you, you give someone the advice to start reading the Peace Over Pain book, but then there, it was, it was a mother and her son came back to, you know, on her account messaging me like, I don't know if this was important at all, but she passed away. And, and, and so I, you know, responded to that, but no, it's, yeah. It's it's a dangerous world, especially dealing with the medical monopoly. Yeah. So we talked about in a couple of other episodes, Dr. Reese, that you kind of started in detox. Now, when you said you took some of your books off the shelf, does that include your detox book? I don't remember. I think so. I think I paused it on Audible. It might be still available on Amazon, though. Tell us about this. We don't well, necessarily need to know how you got into detox, but how did you get out of it? I got out of it because I just realized I had this epiphany that nutrition was more important and that it's the raw materials that make everything up. So what's the point in cleaning if the raw materials aren't there, you know? So it was just an epiphany and... I also was just getting in touch with my primal programming and realizing that I did I did want to eat meat. I did want to eat eggs. It was it was natural, you know. And you know, those two things kind of came together and got me out. And then, you know, I've seen so many people die to get hurt and some people are switching over. And it, it, when that many people are switching over, you got to question it. I mean, you got to. What do you mean? Who who died? People who were like, they were trying to detox and it didn't work. Like it didn't fix their problem and they just still died. Yeah. I have colleagues that died. They were just detoxing for like 
seven, eight years straight. You know, and then one day you just hear that they're not here anymore. You know, so many. When I say so many, I'm being a little dramatic, you know, a handful. But, you know, when you're dealing with death and it's not war and people are getting blown up, then that's that's a bit, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, you get 10 or so people that that die doing something that you're doing, too. And just seeing, just seeing how people become obsessed with it. It's very much like being bulimic or something like that. I do have one comment here. Mm. So in 10 years, I'm coming up in, in 10 years. Really, I've been taking this seriously more for like nine years, but okay, 10 years. I've never seen one case until now. Never seen one case where detox was the thing that fixed them. Mm. Detox or toxins were the thing that was holding them back. Right. Finally, have one case. One case where it looks like evidently she did have heavy metal toxicity. And that's something you could pretty easily find out with blood tests, hair analysis. And there's different ways to get out heavy metals. You could do IV chelation. I just want to tell you guys this story just in the audience here. So she was on the 90, you know, I don't remember what I started on, probably something like the women's pack, which is the 90 plus sweeties plus uh, thyroid support. I could bring up her, her file here, but just off the top of my head, she was, she was doing the 90 for several months. This wasn't working. She had scleroderma. So mm. tight skin, painful, painful joint, painful, everything. She's just kind of miserable, not sleeping correctly, you know, stubborn weight that's not coming off. And she thought that it was because of one of the metal uh, uh, detox products that she was actually using. And you said overdoing it. She was overdoing it. She's the type of person that if, if one serving is good, I'm going to do 10 servings. So she felt that because she overdid that product, she got heavy metals from that. Now, I don't know where she got the heavy metals from. Could have been from her job, chemicals. I don't know. And I don't care. Point is, she had this toxicity. So last year, I decided to go in and make sure that there's nobody who didn't get their result. And I started just saying it all the time online. Anyone who hasn't gotten their result, I want you to email me. We're going to get on Zoom. We're going to take your case from the top. We're going to figure this out. I didn't do that before. You get caught up in the literally thousands of people that come to us. It's tough. I've had to put a lot of extra time into these few people because most people do get a good result. Just And you never hear from them again. You just see they keep ordering. One day they, they contact you and they're like, hey, you help me. Could you help my mom? And I don't even remember them because they were five years ago, but they were just good. They've been good the whole time. That's part of the paradox of this business. The people who are doing well, you usually just don't hear from them where mm -hmm. you guys are going in and, and structuring that so that you make sure that you hear from them. So a lot of stuff goes past me and you don't find out until later that, oh, yeah, no, you totally changed my life, man. Yeah, that one piece of advice you gave me six years ago. No, it's been all good since. Anyways, so I've been trying to clear off the table of anyone who didn't get the result. One woman contacts me. So one of the things I decided to do is high doses of vitamin C. I was playing around with that last year. I still am today. Mega doses. Let's, just, let's throw some mega doses in and see what happens if the regular 90 didn't, didn't work. Felt good for a little bit, then felt worse basically back to normal, maybe even a little bit worse. That gave me the clue that it was pulling something out. It was it was chelating with something, maybe mercury, maybe lead, maybe, I don't, I don't know, cadmium, who knows. But she got a little bit better, got, then got worse. And we kept doing the vitamin C, but it, she didn't, never got back up to being good. So I finally said, okay, let's do a liver flush. We did our standard 30-day liver flush program. And I also, for the very first time, maybe you know a little bit about this, Dr. Reese, because I always dismissed coffee enemas. Mm -hmm. People would ask about coffee enemas. I'd say, yeah, well, enema cleans out your rectum. That's fine, but it doesn't really matter. You know, I would say, well, you need to do colon hydrotherapy to get all the way into the colon and clean the colon. I didn't understand the concept of coffee enema. I probably should have just looked it up. But uh, apparently it flushes the liver. It forces the liver to flush. So... She did our one normal 30 day detox. And I also told her at the same time, once she said that made her feel better, but again, a little bit better. And then kind of back, you know, it didn't do the whole job. So I said, okay, start doing coffee enemas and, you know, do some research online. They'll give you some guidance on how often to do them and stuff. And it looks like at this point, she's in the clear. It looks like she's on the other side of the hill, mm -hmm. has a little bit left to go. 
you know, lose that extra stubborn body weight and whatever, but she says she's sleeping well. She's overall doing well. And she just checked in with me uh, last week and I didn't have anything else to add to her regimen. Just got her on the regular regimen now. And I think she's just going to keep doing better and better. So I just wanted to bring that up. Just saying that out of thousands of people, I only have one for sure case that detox actually did help them. I think I might have one more of those tough cases, a guy with a skin problem. Uh, once again, nothing really worked, not eating the bad foods, all that stuff. It might be him as well, but I'm just saying this is a very, very rare thing. And once it's done, it's done. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I probably detoxed enough to last me a lifetime personally. Um, I've gotten huge results from helping people detox. But in retrospect, I realize now that I was just getting them off the poor four foods. <laughs> and so it's just kind of funny to me. So what was it the fruit? Was it the herbs? Was it the fasting? Or was it just not eating these four foods? Mm-hmm. Because when you detox someone, they're not eating those four foods. I have a feeling that's the backbone of most diet results. Yeah. Like, oh, I went vegan. Oh, I went carnivore. Oh, I went keto. Well, if you make those types of serious diet changes, probably the main benefit is that you just stop eating processed food, to be honest. Right. Right. And, you know, I've done so much detoxing, man. I've done... I've done seven days on grapes. I've done 10 days on melons. I've done um, 100 days on juice. I've done numerous 30-day juice fasts. 100 days on juice. Did I miss that? 100, 100 days. 100 days on juice. Jeez. Yeah. How would you feel at the end of that? Well, I felt great. I felt great. But, you know, and if you look at the old pictures of me, you'll see my weight fluctuating, too, because I would go down in weight. I'd come down to like 165 pounds and then I'd start eating again. And next thing you know, I'm back up to 200. <laughs> it's like I was doing health seminars 10 years ago, looking a little chunky because I'm, I, you know, about to go into detox mode. And it was like this thing, this yo-yo type thing happening. That's not healthy. No, no. And now I, you know, I maintain my weight by just, you know, having the 90 essential nutrients every day, making sure I'm stocked up, topped off on nutrition and then eating, you know, two, sometimes three meals. That's it. No, no, no up and down weight gains at all. I hardly change at all. And it, I've been trying to work out a little bit more, gain some muscle. Yeah. And I, so I feel myself gaining muscle, but it's like I can eat as much or fast as much as I want. Sometimes I go days without eating, especially on the road, or, or I can just eat two, three meals a day. It, it just doesn't seem to matter. It doesn't change my weight at all. I know a lot of people would love for that to be the case, and it, it can be the case. If you're healthy, your body will will do that for you. Yeah. It'll be the weight it wants to be. Just get your 90. Levi, you got any comments here? Uh, I did do a fast once and I've done a detox. I've done like a parasite cleanse, but you know, the parasite cleanse doesn't, I don't think it really did anything. It just kind of made me more dehydrated for about a week. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a whole chapter of parasites in the reverse the cause. And I, I talk about parasites all the time, Ryan. It's, it's, it's paranoia is what it is. It's paranoia. Anyway, well, you see those pictures, they're pulling worms out of people. And... Oh, I've seen worms, dude. I've done col col I've done um colonics and seen worms come out. No doubt. But it all comes down to stomach acid. If you got the stomach acid, you're not gonna have parasites. <laughs> Same thing with fungus. All right, quick break here while I tell you about my favorite bookstore, thriftbooks.com. And I'm genuinely excited to have an affiliate link with them. I buy almost all of my books off thriftbooks.com. After many years of using actual thrift stores to buy most of my books, thriftbooks.com is a huge relief. 
I almost always find what I'm looking for, and since I am mostly looking for older books, they tend to be a really great deal, almost always it's the best price, and many times it's the only place that I can find the books. I've got just over 100 books in my wish list, and 95 of them are in stock right now. With a $15 order or more, you get free shipping. Really great. Only in the USA though, unfortunately. Free shipping in the USA, $15 or more order. And you get points, which add up to free books, which is my favorite thing ever. They got all these specials with extra points for certain things. And yeah, every few orders, basically, I get a free book. Got a free book on my birthday, which is a one-way ticket to my heart. So I highly recommend thriftbooks.com. And I don't have a discount code for you. I asked them for one and they said, we already have the best prices, basically. Which is an answer I respect. But I do have a link where I will get a commission, 3% if you're a new customer and 2% if you're a returning customer. Which isn't much, but it sounds great to me. I'm happy to promote thriftbooks.com in any case. And I would appreciate it if you did use my link. It is in the description. And now we can get back to the episode. Like I've, I've done a parasite, the parasite cleanses, but the fast, I did a fast when I was in high school and this isn't that far away. I mean, like four years, maybe five years. Young man, <laughs> Rumble, young man, rumble. But I did a, a, a complete water fast. I didn't, I used in high school, I was vaping actually, but that was like the only thing I was consuming other than water. And I just had like such a, a wake up moment, I guess. Just like, you know, no poor for foods at all. Just water clean my system out. I, I had such a boosted mood. Of, uh, my, my friends would say that I was like a completely different person. I was just like, you know, a manic high. Anything that was negative, it was just like, it, it wouldn't affect me at all. Right. And, and I'd also like to say that when you go without food and you realize, holy crap, I'm surviving without food. There's also something that happens mentally there. There, there. There's some chemical reactions happening in your body that are making you proud. It's, it's giving you a realization about the human body and and it's kind of like a cool factor. It's like, you know, a, a different version of being on mushrooms or something. It, it's just like, ah, oh, oh my gosh. I you haven't feel eaten. so light. Yeah, yeah. You just, you, you're floating, man. You're floating. It's the same thing with fruit. You get on all fruit, same, same deal. My old teacher did six months on oranges. He claims he couldn't even stay in his body. Jeez. <laughs> you want to talk about trippy he claims he could not stay in his body now some people have different beliefs so they can take that how they want but that is his exact words I couldn't stay in my body I had to go back to regular food because I was so light so clean wow a lot of this detox stuff is like a bridge to breatharianism. And that's a whole other topic for a whole other day for a whole other podcast. Okay. 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 <laughs> Before we go, Levi, hmm. what's your day like in this piece over pain clinic? You, you work in mostly media. You're working with clients themselves too. So Kevin here, calls me operations coordinator. Uh, if I was talking to anyone else, it's, you know, head coach Levi, but uh, operations is pretty much everything behind the scenes. I'm connected to the the client side, you know, any question about products helping out with that. Cause I know a lot of that from you and I also help with the multimedia. I'm on, I'm, I'm the main guy that posts on rumble, makes all the rumble content. Me and Dr. Reese here do that together but i i have a hand in just pretty much everything that goes on cool yeah he levi is like he's like the bridge from the front end to the back end you know everything goes through levi and then sean is at the front doing admissions so everyone that ends up being a client they all come through sean who's also a head coach. 
And then, and then once they become a client, we have coaches who work remotely. They're not here. And then they take care of them. Yeah. yeah in the beginning, it was the roles were kind of reversed. I was doing what Sean's doing right now. And Sean was starting to get into media, but we found out like the bros are just so much better. You know, me behind the scenes, Sean in front of everyone. <laughs> and it's working very well. Like Sean loves what he does. I love what I do. And this is just, it's a machine over here. We, we, we've made so much progress ever since I've been here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember before I was here, like it, it was like we'd have to, you know, upload a file you have to check it it's it's such a slow process but there's also something that happens it's just magical when everyone's together and this this creation process i mean we're we're in the media business we, we help people get healthy but if pe nobody knows what we're doing it's you know what's the point they got to see the message first yeah and, and adver I was going to say this earlier, but, you know, getting this message of head to toe healing out to the average cold person is probably one of the most difficult things that we've had to do in this business. We got a lot of leads, but they don't understand the philosophy yet. They've heard like the alternative and I could testify to this myself. I mean, I was when I was, you know, first getting into the, what they call alternative health. Uh, it's a confusing world, so I hope our, our message really, you know, settles that for that person. But we can only give some, you know, point them in the right direction, and they got to take the steps. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. And we also charge a lot of money. So you said that before. So yeah. you're saying you're saying it like you're proud of it. What's going on here? Absolutely. <laughs> A million dollars just to get in. <laughs> no, but you know, when you when you charge a lot of money, you're 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 stamping your value. You're saying this is this is our value, and it makes people very serious. The chances of us getting someone that disappears on day thirty is slim to none, because they're they're coming in. I like to say that if you go to college, if you go to university, it's different if you pay for it yourself or your parents pay for it. If your parents pay for it, you might go in and you you slack around, you know, <laughs> you're partying too much. You're like, whatever. But you go and get a loan, you're paying for it yourself. You're working a second job. You take it so much more serious. And so... When we get people coming through our door, they take it very, very, very serious. And that's what we want. I would rather have 25 very serious people in a year than 25, you know, <laughs> a month, you know? So. Or 250 of them. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's what we do. And when the school comes out, it, you know, it's not going to be 300 bucks, you know, it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to be just like a school. It's going to have school prices, you know? So some people might say that that's, uh, actually, I don't know what they, they would say, but some people have said to me, you know, why did they charge for their program? And I said, how do you think they could do it for free? I do it for free and it's almost killing me to be, to be honest, to be straight up. You know, I'm working mm -hmm. over 12 hour days every single day with the only exception I get a quote day off is when I'm like on the road, which is not a day off. <laughs> you know, it's not a day off. I'm trapped. It's a hard right. day as well. It's just I'm not doing work. But there will come a day where I just can't do it for free anymore. Right. And that day is is almost here, to be honest. I know right. Dr. Wallach has been very proud to do it for, for free himself for many years. But at the same time, he makes a good living just selling his books and his CDs and he hasn't it really had to since his days in the in an actual clinic. He hasn't had to charge people for their advice. And I'm also very proud that I don't charge people for my advice. But what you just said there, 25 serious people versus 250, eh, that's a lot better. 
I just got an email right before we jumped on here from a woman that I had given a protocol to in August, last August. This is, I don't know, eight months ago or six months ago. I don't know, even know what day it is today. Six months ago, I gave her advice. She emails me today and says, hey, Ryan, I've just been diagnosed with MS. Hmm. What do you think I should do? And I sent back a quick email. Are you still on the program? Oh, no, I never actually did it. Hmm. So yeah. you're telling me I wasted my time giving you the protocol in the first place. Yes. Right. And yeah. I, I, there's been hundreds, th probably thousands of people that I've given my advice to that they didn't take it and you wasted my time. It's frustrating. And so there are some people who are, there's lots of people who are extremely grateful, right? They took the advice, they took the program, changed their life. And, you know, obviously I've got to go in and, and work with the tough cases. They say crap rolls uphill in this business, right? The longer you do this, the more of the tough cases you're dealing with. So I hardly deal with any easy cases anymore. And yes, many of those people are excessively grateful. But for every one person who actually does it, there's probably 10 to 20 who don't or who don't do it all the way. And it's very, very frustrating, especially when now you come back six months later. Now you have a full blown neurological disease. Yep. When I gave you the protocol before that would have fixed your original problem, most likely. Yep. And if yep. it didn't, we had six months to figure out what was wrong. Now you've got a full-blown neurological disease, and now you want my help. Yep. And I don't mean to chew out this one woman. It's just one reflection, one example of many, many, many. I've heard this so many times where they ask question after question after question. We see this in the DM too on Instagram. And I got to be like, again and again, have you started the program? And I'm, I'm very polite. I'm too polite. I'm Canadian, you know, mm -hmm. but in my mm -hmm. mind, I'm, I'm yelling. I'm yelling. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you do this two years ago when you asked me the first time? How many times have I told you to do this? So yeah. I'm just, I'm agreeing with you. This is what you get for free, to be honest. Yep. A lot of yeah. people get ex extreme value, so much value. And I get paid like, you know, peanuts for the, the sale on the products. It, and that's great for them. It's not that great for me because it means I have to deal with tons and tons of people to kind of scrape by here. No, uh, you, you, you you should be a millionaire for all the value you've provided people, you know? Um, and I'm not disagreeing with that, man. This is like we have fully transformed not just lives, but entire families, communities. We have this one town in, in Ohio. I, I, there must We must have half the town on the program, honestly. This must be the healthiest town in America, I swear. <laughs> you know, in the middle of Ohio, middle of nowhere, a little farm town. It, it blows me away. Yeah, so we've, ch we've changed communities, you know, and, and yeah, when you do it for free, it's just like, you couldn't is what I'm saying. I agree. You you couldn't. And I, I can't for long either. You know, it's great that Dr. Wow. Wallach has been able to be on the radio and do all this stuff for free. But, you know, he yeah. sells enough books to cover himself and I don't. So, yeah, I mean, just just this office space that we have alone is a mortgage. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's a lot. You know, last year I dropped two hundred thousand dollars, you know. I invested two hundred thousand dollars into what we do. I spent two hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> that that's that's more than some people make. You know what I mean? Like this is big. This is big boy stuff that we're doing and trying to do. Like we're trying to become the brand, the brand. You know, in well, it's head to toe healing, so it'll be its own thing. But in the alternative world so that when someone says hey i have ms they don't even bat an eye some somebody's gonna be like you gotta go see that fake doctor guy you got <laughs> you go, you gotta go to that head to toe healing place you have to i'm telling you read the trilogy watch the videos he's live every tuesday at 6 p.m go you know and and so i'm completely committed financially mentally spiritually everything obviously levi and sean are because they moved out here and um you know all this equipment ryan i mean <laughs> levi i'll tell you like we're about to put a monitor up over here to make the studio look better and it's like how are we going to get it Le levi just emails me we need this we need this we need this now i know how my parents felt when i was like i need this i need these yeah. shoes and this and i'm like all right i gotta buy this, 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 this. <laughs> So I'm just constantly buying things. We're constantly just investing because we believe in what we're doing. And in order to pull this off, yeah, our customers are paying a pretty penny. There's no other way around it. 
there's no other way around it. Um, but they can buy the books, obviously, under a hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. And they can show up for Tuesday. We're live every Tuesday. And they can every now and again I do a seminar. I'm doing a seminar on May 4th here. I'm opening up the doors. And, you know, we sell some webinars on our website for like five bucks. Like d- d- there's little stuff that people can do without, you know, throwing down thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. But ultimately, you know, if somebody's very serious, they, they'll do it because we have the testimonials. If we didn't have the testimonials, then, OK, I get mm-hmm. it. But because I have the testimonials on video, I can stand on that. You know, I can really stand on that and and kind of beat my chest like King Kong and say, ah, look, <laughs> yeah, look, I don't have to sell nothing. Just look. And if you don't want to look, then you're, you're just putting up blinders, you know? So that's kind of the, the mindset over here. We say it all the time. There are many millions of people who can change their lives with the free information that you put out, that I put out, that Wallach has put out. Over the past 30 plus years, and in, you and I together, Levi here as well, us us as a group here, we have easily doubled or tripled or quadrupled the amount of information that was available, uh, specifically about the Dr. Wallach message, the 90th century nutrients. If there was some stuff available, you know, Dr. Glidden had some webinars and stuff. Getting harder to find those now. YouTube took a lot of them down or whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, when I was starting, there there was there was material there. Dr. Welk has a lot of books. There was. There was enough for me to get started and get trained and stuff, but we have blown that out of the water. There is so much information out there. And to be honest, a lot of people don't have to go on a full program. They don't have to contact me or you in order to change their life, especially with the basic stuff. They hear it all the time. You talk about poor four, you talk about gluten, you just get off the, you know, get off the gluten and the seed oils. This, this, and this and this are gonna go away. You know. But for people who are more serious, who have more serious health problems, do it properly. And there will be a day very, very soon where I will not be able to take new people. And uh, I've been weaning them down. Like I said, I'm trying to clear off the hardest cases that there is. And it's been successful. I've gotten a lot of those off of the table. They're no longer tough cases anymore. Case has been solved. Case has been closed. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm not going to be taking on free um, people for that long. Can't do it. I can't afford to do it. You know, my wife needs a better life. I still drive a 2011 Kia Rio. And it's not about having a luxurious car. It's just like... You know, having, having a new car, having something updated, working very hard for not enough, to be honest. Exactly. So what is the price of a 120 day program with you guys, if you don't mind? Well, it's technically a year, Okay, but it's a uh, 8,200 front door. That's not bad. I don't think it's bad. That's not bad. You're, you're... That's not including supplements, of course, and postural equipment and food. So postural when... equipment's pretty cheap. You're talking about a couple of blocks here in a. Yeah, well, probably a few hundred, but I, I think overall, when you add in the whole year, if someone's real committed, they're looking at about 15 grand. That's not bad at all. I don't think so. Anybody who's listening or watching who thinks that's high, you haven't been in this business. You have no idea how much money people have spent on their health already, and they haven't fixed it. <laughs> oh my gosh, one knee replacement is what, like 40 grand? Yep. We'll talk about dental. You know, it's a reflection of your overall health. A lot of times dental is not covered by your job insurance or whatever. And what guess what's definitely not covered is getting those fillings removed, stuff like that. You know, it, I've been uh, recommending a clinic that has great deal on stuff. But I've also in that time now that I've actually been bringing it up more and more and more. And it, I put it on my questionnaire. Do you have any dental work done? And if you have any fillings or root canals, there's been plenty of people who's who were like, Oh yeah, I had lots of feelings, but over the last couple of years, I paid $35,000 or something to yeah. get it all removed, not done yeah. in the first place, to get it removed, you know, and they, so there's a lot of money that can be yeah. spent. There's a lot of things that you can do in clinics that are beneficial, but that are very, very expensive, to be honest. Things that, that I would recommend in some situations like stem cells uh, and stuff can yeah. be very expensive. I remember you telling me that you were talking to... Uh, another alternative doctor, I'm not going to say his name out in California about your hips, I believe. And Mm -hmm. he, he said 20 grand, right? I think it was, yeah, it was, it was 15 or 15 or 20. And that, that was supposed to be a deal to me. Yeah. Friend to friend. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> my hat fell off when he said that. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> I, I, I think we're given a heck of a deal. And, you know, the school will probably be a little more. But I think it's a good deal, especially if you're going to get the results. It's, it, the, the way I put it is this is your best shot. When I talk to someone, I say, this is your best shot. We we just talked to someone the other day with um, ALS. And they're deteriorating. And I just tell the wife, look, this is this is your best shot. Well, what are your other options? You tell me your other options. <laughs> this is your best shot. Mm -hmm. You know, and if, if you're that serious, you will find the money. You will. You you will ask uncle whoever, you will take out a loan, you will put it on three credit cards, you will do what it takes. And I know that because I've done that. And that's their business too, right? Like I, I like to bring up this analogy. You need a car. Car's not cheap. You go into the car lot. You say, I don't have 15,000 for a car. I don't think you can get a car for less than 15 grand these days. Uh, maybe a cheap, you know, 2011 Kia Rio like mine. But even the price on those doubled. I don't know what the heck is going on here. So you go into the car lot. You say, you I don't have eight grand. The dealer gives you a blank stare in return. That's your business. You you need a car to get from A to B. You have to go and get it. And what do they do in, in dealerships? They give you financing. So you can take a, a loan. That's what it is. Right? You take a loan yeah. to yeah. do something because it's a big thing and it needs to be done. What are you going to do? Walk to work? Right. I live here in the outskirts of uh, Houston half the time. There's not even a bus. You can't even. You need a car. <laughs> you just you need a car. Yeah, yeah, it's expensive. I hear you. I agree with you. I appreciate that. But you, you need to go and get that money. And for everybody listening who is, does not have a debilitating disease, again, stay on top of it right now. Do all the stuff we talk about. Don't wait until something breaks. And then you won't be in that type of an emergency. Maintain your vehicle. And then you won't need to buy a new one in an emergency situation. And, and we do have a deal with a, a financing company, a funding department. So people can literally finance this but i'll tell you this is just a prediction but i think people are more open to enroll into the school because subconsciously it's a business so it's like okay i can learn how to do what dr reese is doing and create a career ah and so people like that thought of being able to make their money back you know, versus I'm um, just spending the money to get my health back because most people don't put health number one. Not just your health, too, though. You know, I fixed my health first and then boom, immediately my mom was next. No more osteoporosis. All right. Who's next? Called my dad nice. up. Hadn't seen, my, hadn't seen my dad in 11 years. His wow. eyes were bulging out of his head from thyroid. Wow. Right? He, was, he, was, he was fat. He was fat and bald. Wasn't looking good. Immediately switched him from beer to wine, lost 40 pounds over the next like two months, 40 pounds, 40 pounds is life changing. And his eyes were back in his head the next time I saw him. And that was only like weeks, like three weeks later, his eyes were back in his head, you know? So what, when you learn this for yourself, you can very, very easily help other people providing that they're willing to do it. And it, you realize that, yeah, most people actually are easy. You know, I said before, thyroid cases can be tricky. They absolutely can. But a lot of times it's actually not. You actually do see quite a good result quite quickly. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a crazy little business we're in. All right, guys. Since I mentioned the dental clinic, I have to tell you about my friends at the American Bio Dental Clinic in Tijuana, Mexico. Just a few minutes over the American border, and they actually pick you up in America. If you are in America, they'll pick you up as far as the San Diego airport. They'll take you both ways. That's for free. Nice and safe. Their clinic is actually in a major hotel, the Grand Hotel in Tijuana. And I trust them. I'm actually going down there in a couple of weeks to get one of my loved one's fillings removed. And it's an incredible deal. I trust them to do a great job with the latest equipment. They know what they're doing. And their prices are actually fantastic. Here in Texas, to get the same work done, it's like I would have to sell my soul to pay for it, honestly. And I've done a couple of episodes here already. I actually did one called Alternative Dentistry with Dr. Alessandro Porcella, who runs the American Biodental Clinic. 
You can check out that episode. I've also got a Mercury Fillings episode. If you have Mercury Fillings, metallic fillings, you should know, first of all, they're 50% Mercury. Second of all, you should get them out. They could absolutely be one of the biggest things impacting your health. Same with root canals. If you've had a root canal, you should get it removed. You should get it dealt with properly by a proper alternative dental clinic that knows what they're doing. And you shouldn't have to have a second mortgage to pay for it. And even their prices on regular dental care is great. I'm going to go and get a cleaning while I'm there waiting for them to get their work done because it's only 35 bucks for a cleaning. What an incredible deal. Even with our flights from here to Houston to San Diego, two flights and hotel, it's still cheaper than it is in Texas and most of the rest of America and Canada. And honestly, I know there are decent or great alternative dentists in America and Canada. They're hard to find. And I don't actually know any of them personally to recommend. And many of our customers have been comparing prices and comparing services and have chosen to go to American Biodental as well. Just like me, I can't personally find a better deal or someone that I trust more. And if you do choose to consult with them, it's completely free. You can do it on the website so you can see what you're in for price wise, time wise, all this stuff. And if you tell them that you were referred by not us, that's me, tell them that you were referred by not us, you'll get $50 off if you spend at least $400, which is about the price of a filling removal, by the way. They remove the old filling, they replace it with one that is the safest we've got at current technology. And I know in my business with nutrition, we can prevent dental problems. I don't have any dental problems. But if it's already been done, you got to get it removed. Don't shoot the messenger. It can be incredibly expensive doing it with regular dental clinics in America, and they probably won't even remove it for you. They'll talk you out of it. And we've had many horror stories where so-called alternative dentists reversed a root canal, but didn't do a good job. Didn't actually clean it out properly with ozone. Didn't actually do a bone graft if it was required. And so they got the work done, paid for the work done, and the problem wasn't actually fixed or it even created a worse problem. Dentistry is serious and the regular dental industry is a racket to me. It's a scam for the most part. So you definitely, if you need dental work, you gotta use somebody that you trust. You gotta use somebody that's up to date. And for me, that's the American Bio Dental Clinic. Check out their website, link in the description. Check out the other episodes that we've got. And now we can get back to the episode. So before we sign out here, gentlemen, mm -hmm. you think we could see one or two more of those little testimonials? Sure. Yeah, of course. Fire them they, up, Levi. So they are the great. Top. Go to the top, please. And I know so few people watch them. It's, it is a shame. It's a shame that all, that when it's you, Dr. Reese, you're just saying something on, you're walking through the park, you know, just talking some reality, some truth about this. And then that goes viral. But then, yeah, we actually get the results here and nobody watches it. So we're, we're forcing people to listen to these right now. But these are great. Yeah, you can skip the tumor. What's next after the tumor? Skip the tumor, he says. It's type two. Keep going. Kidney function restored. Keep That's going. an important one. What do you mean? Keep going. These are huge. <laughs> <laughs> keep going, Levi. There's some other ones. Uh, hip pain gone in two weeks. That's a good one. I like I like that one. This guy, this southern guy, I love the accent. You go for it. Yeah, go for it. Ed is here. I see him. So Ed, yeah, you're, you're dancing again. Your pain's gone. Yes, it's amazing. You know, I just finished up my 120 uh, this past week, and. Uh, you know, it just, I can't say enough about the whole program. You know, like you said, um, I was having trouble dancing. We go to a lot of, we go to a lot of, we travel a lot, my wife and I do. And, mm -hmm. and we have these conferences and sometimes uh, on Saturday night, they'll have a, a two hour dance thing. And before the program, I could only dance maybe, you know, a long country song. My hips was hurting so bad. I, I couldn't wait for the song to be over with. Mm. And we just had another conference oh, up, uh, a little over a month ago, I guess. And it was a two hour long deal. And I danced two hours, never stopped. Um, even the wife got tired, had to go sit down for a minute. And I still stayed out there dancing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's, um, you know, and the reason I got I started a program in the first place was my hip. 
my hips were hurting, my knee was hurting. I was having really bad back pain when I would go to bed trying to turn or toss. It would just, it hurt so bad it'd take my breath away. And, you know, all of that went away within two weeks. Awesome. And it just, you know, it rocks. It's awesome, man. It's so good to yeah. hear. Yeah. yeah. So I'm so curious to see, I'm curious to see what happens, you know, what, what, after the 120, you know, what the program in, in details of that coming up. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's a video in there. I just added it last week. So that'll tell you everything. And yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're here for you for another seven months or whatever it is. Yep. You know, I'm looking forward to it. We want to see yeah. you get even better. I hear you. I hear you. Me too. All right. That is awesome. Great, Ed. That one was good. I, I love that <laughs> accent too. Was that Kentucky, you think? I don't know, man. I, I, I love, we get people from all over the world and then just Australia. We get all these accents. and One yeah. more. What do you think about uh, this heart palpitations, vertigo? Uh, what, what's under her, Levi? PCOS. PCOS. That's a big one. Let's do it. It's a huge one. And anybody I'm can, so can look into... at these, by the way. This is peaceoverpain.com, right? Yep. Slash case studies. Well, there's a link there. They can be able to see the case studies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At the top of the screen, it's all those little tabs. The tab that says results. Nice. Yeah. All right. Peaceoverpain.com. If you want to see a lot of these case studies here. This, I have um, PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. And I, that comes with, you know, everything from skin issues, excess hair growth, fatigue. Um, I would never get a period. It would be, you know, years and years would go by and I'd maybe get one every two to three years. Um, on this program alone, uh, the four months I've been on it, I've gotten a period every month. And that's like unheard of <laughs> um, with my health condition. Um, in my experience, um, with PCOS, you do have insulin resistance and, um, I did have diabetes. Um, so my sugar levels would be in the two hundreds pretty regularly. And on this program, um, they've been in the low one hundreds, um, over the past four months, which is just giving me more energy. I'm not having like super crazy cravings of anything um i sleep better because my sugar isn't so elevated Eli, can you pause um, that? Have really yeah so and she she's about 35 years old which is young for us for our demographic but thank goodness we we got this woman going because um again the, the female issues are so big the pcos the endometriosis these are things that supposedly can't be reversed you know these are yours. Th this is life changing. She just throws that in there too. Like, oh, I, I also had diabetes, like because that's yeah. part of the part of the syndrome, <laughs> kind of. But like, she's got yeah. so many symptoms that diabetes is just like an oh yeah, that too. Yeah, and it's for her to get go from one period a year, or one every two years, she said, or something like that, to every month. And she showed up to my book release party, and uh, she was so grateful, man. She was just like, thank you so much for changing my life. She was so grateful. Yeah, man. So it's pretty cool. We got a lot of them, but the, the the big one, Ryan, is Kim. Kim had the tumors. I mentioned that she came back. She came back, back, ten years later, and sit sat down with Sean to do the interview. And she said that when her son graduates, she's going to send me the diploma. This is huge stuff, guys. Yeah. So yeah, anybody, you should go, you should check out peaceoverpain.com. If the only thing you do is go and check out those testimonials, I think it will be well worth your time. I guarantee that you know somebody who has one of those problems and you can show them that it is possible to reverse them because all of your doctors, probably all of your doctors are going to tell you if you have PCOS, nope, can't do anything about it. A, a lot of those problems we talked about, they're going to say, nope, can't do anything about it. Just got to manage it with drugs it's the best you can do and then yeah you can expect to just get worse and worse and worse over time you're lucky if it's managed well they won't use that exact language but that's the gist of it but almost everything is reversible and when you have a three-pronged approach like this 
and it's even it's not even fair to call it three prong because we use so many different nutrients and there's so many different you know herbal products and stuff that we can grab that three prong is still a an oversimplification you you guys have a great program because we're already pretty comprehensive with the nutrition but you add in the actual mental health in there the mindfulness and especially that postural therapy too done properly the postural therapy changed my life guys honestly i had i had posture problems and i was probably going downhill because they were just getting worse and there were some things that i wasn't going to be able to fix and if i keep sitting down 14 hours a day on the computer it's not going to be good you know we have some people in this business who know the nutrition in and out and their posture sucks and they're not mm -hmm. doing too well and that's the answer there's more to health than just nutrition it's a huge part of it but there is there's more as well and i think you guys just do a fantastic job and I think that's a fair price, man. I don't know why you said thousands and thousands and thousands. I guess there is eight thousands there, but <laughs> still, you're, you're well, making it sound like it was thirty. I'm sure it will go up at some point. I mean, it re it really depends on testimonials, Ryan. You know, what once we start doubling what we have, then it's it's. It's kind of like, you know, Michael Jordan scores 30 points a year and then all of a sudden he scores 40 points a year. And then he's, it's like at some point, you know, the owner of the team's got to raise the salary, you know, because uh, there's more expenses, you know, it's just business. But yeah, the, just a quick story before we leave here. Um, I had this client not too long ago. Her name's Lisa. And I could tell she was just really, really uptight. And I said, you know, are you doing your nutrition? Yes. Are you doing your posture? Yes. I'm like, all right, have you cried yet? She goes, no, I never cry. She's one of these very stern women. It's like, no, I, I, I never cry. And I'm like, well, why is that? So I started asking her questions. We started talking about her mother and her relationship with her mother and we start, you know, I start peeling back the onion a little bit. And I'm like, look, you need to cry. If you want to heal, you need to cry. She's like, all right. I'm like, keep doing the mindfulness course because everyone gets a mindfulness course. Keep keep practicing. Keep doing that. You're going to cry. She goes, okay, I believe it when I see it. One month goes by. She doesn't cry. Two months go by. She doesn't cry. Three months go by. She doesn't cry. Month four, I finally get a message from Coach Amber, who is her coach, and she says, hey, I just want to let you know, Lisa told me to tell you she finally cried, and it was for about 45 minutes. And she's one of our big testimonials now. So, you know, it's where the mindfulness comes in and peeling back the onion and getting people to go into their subconscious mind and, and see what trauma they're holding and what they need to release and and you know keep working with their inner child and and just just keep just keep working man because the mind is powerful that computer in your skull is powerful and i could even make a case that it's more powerful than the nutrition and the posture but you know it's it's all encompassing and you know head to toe healing is here So great that you guys could join me today. I really enjoyed this episode. Very. I would love one. to. I would love to post this on Rumble if you let me. You you can absolutely. Okay, I would love a copy of this. This is going to be a really a banger, as we would say here at the clinic. A, a banger. I'll polish it up a little bit for you. Sure. And send it over. And yeah, once again, peaceoverpain.com. It's peace over pain on every platform. Yeah. Yep, or or dr. Reese, Doctor Reese, Peace Over Pain, Coach Levi. All of this is going to be in the description as well, whether you're listening or you're watching on video. And Coach Sean, absolutely, he's doing good too. I see, I see his uh, his face yeah. a lot more, which is very good. He's yeah, he, nice face, nice voice. He talks well. Yes, yeah, that's why I had to put him on camera. He he sits down with me and goes on camera and. He was born for the camera, to be honest. Yes, yes, yes. He's he's charming. He's got a great smile, and people like talking to him. You know, he's uh, caring, and you know, we got a nice vibe here. We laugh a lot. We laugh a lot. Levi was talking about he wanted to go skiing. I said, "How could skiing be better than this?" 
Like we're changing people's <laughs> lives. We're laughing every day. You know, this is cool. I'm like Levi. Had to bring it up again. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. This is fun. Well, it's a great thing you got going there. So thank you guys once again. Thank you everybody for watching as always. Remember that you can find everything that I do on my website, notusbooks.org, including the books that I've written and helped publish. You can also find an archive of this podcast on the website, notusbooks.org, and you can download the episodes there for free. The reason the archive is there is because this podcast has been taken down before. Last year, 2023, we got taken down, and I'm trying to back them up on these other platforms now as well. But you can always just download the episode. And actually, on the archive version, there's a special treat there at the end. If you stick around all the way to the end after we sign out on the archive, you can find all my social media links on the website as well and in the description. And remember that all these episodes do go up to Patreon at least one week early. And every time there's a video available, it's on Patreon. Many of those videos will get put onto YouTube and Rumble and so on, but all of the video versions of these podcasts will be on Patreon for sure. There's also some extra content there, a couple of extra videos that exist nowhere else. There's our weekly Zoom meeting that we do with the distributors and I, where we go pretty deep into specific diseases, specific products, and we go over case studies in real time every week, and those are always posted uh, to the Patreon, patreon.com slash us. And we appreciate the support either way. And I think that's it for now, everybody. Appreciate you once again. Stay healthy, my friends. Until next time.